Welcome back to another Ad Nation video. Today we talk about the second line for the Montreal Canadian following by an update event they made up and my three stars for the Montreal Canadian for the Canadian, the Laval Rocket, and the Pipeline. This is a new thing I do every Monday morning. First of all, the second line. Why you want to talk about? Because they are the worst second line in NHL. This is not a good news. Why? Because we don't have anybody else stand up and to play on the top six for the Montreal Canadian. Patrick Laine is out. It's not Joshua Roy. It's not Alex Barry Boulet or any other Montreal Canadian forward at the bottom six could take any spot on the second line. This is really a red flag for the Montreal Canadian and Martin St. Louis. Now, I want to show to you the stats in the beginning of the season. But first of all, could be dark. Only one assist with one point and minus eight and six game. 12 shots only on the net and he has only 10 hits. Face off percentage is at 33.3. Not looking better for Alex the Hook. One goal, one point. Minus seven, only six shots on the net and he have only three hits and his face off is the same like Kirby Dak, 33.3. A little bit better for Joel Amir, 2 assists, 2 points, minus 5, 10 hits, but still, no chemistry between 3 players. This is a time for Martin Sinuit to make some change. Is it Kirby Dak as a winger? Is it to bring Devo Rag, Jake Evans on the second line? Is it better to split the first line, the second line? I don't have the right answer. But right now, this is not work, and we need to make some modification. We see if Martin St. Louis is going to do something about that. But that proves one more thing for about the Montreal Canadian. If you believe that rebuilding is finished, it's not. We're missing a lot of pieces of the puzzle because we don't have those players yet inside the Montreal Canadian roster. Yes, even Dimidal, yes, possible Michael Edge, could join a Montreal Canadiens at some point, but maybe not ready to be a top six in the NHL. My biggest concern is about Kubida. Why? Because it could be not a second center in the NHL. But one thing I want to mention for the Montreal Canadiens fans, this is an excuse at some level. But don't tell me Kubida because he missed the full year last year. He cannot be better on the defensive zone coverage and to get minus eight, he is the worst in NHL. His face up is only 33.3. This is skill. This is a talent. It's not about the speed. It's not because he's not in shape. For me, it's not an excuse about the details of the game. Now, the chemistry between players, I can understand. The fact is, did not play last year. Is may maybe behind of the speed of the game or his adaptation to readjust himself with the NHL players. But still, minus A, this is a red flag for me. We'll see what Martin Sirui is going to do, but now is your turn to leave me a comment about the second line. What you will do if you are Martin Sirui about the second line? This is a reason I feel like the Montreal Canadiens, what all the hope, expectation for many fans, Montreal Canadiens are going to finish at the bottom eight in NHL if nothing changed. On the second line for the Montreal Canadiens, this is the worst line, second line in NHL at this moment. Now, even Dimitrov returned on the ice today, play at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. We know Dimitrov was benched at the half of the game, last game with the SKA. It's a roller coaster with Dimitrov. We don't know what will happen today. I don't have the final update about the game. The only thing I know is the team not really good in KHL usually. Rottenberg, the head coach, used more Dimidov. Don't be surprised he played on the third line with Kuznizov and Pluknikov. And finally, my last subject of the day is about the three star of the week and the Montreal Canadian organization. First of all, the first three star for the Montreal Canadian are first star, Cole Carfield, two goal, three point, ten shot on the net, 30% shot on the net for Cole Carfield since the beginning of the season. Great weeks for him again. And we know he scored six goals so far, one goal per game since the beginning of the season, 20-24-20-25. Now, the second star, Juraj Sarkowski. Yes, he's not at the same level he played last year during the second half of the season, but still, the kid has six points so far. One goal, five assists for total six. Last week, he has one goal, three points, 12 hits. 
He lead the Montreal game with 22, and he's a 12 in the ranking of the most hit in the NHL. Sarkowski, yes, it's not perfect, but give him a chance. He's only 20 years old. Look what happened with Alex Lafreniere and Quentin Byfield. It took them a couple of years before to become better in NHL, and Sarkowski is just the beginning of his third year in NHL. Finally, my third star. Well, this was complicated. I could not figure out it was maybe Justin Barron, Jake Evans, Primo. But I have to go with Mike Madison. Oh, yeah. Nick Nisuski also with four points. But his uh, face-up percentage was really, really low. And he finished with minus two. I don't see Nisuski deserve that third star. We expect more for the captain. Nick Nisuski have still have zero goals since the beginning of the season. So I go with Mike Madison. Why? He played only two games plus one period. He found a way to get three points. But I like his week uh, overall on the defensive side of the game. He had nine block shots. He did not turn the puck a lot. And he was a little bit better on the three zone in the last three games with the Montreal Canadian. But overall, Montreal Canadian finished the week with zero, two, and one, only one point. Now, they're going to return on the ice Tuesday night against the New York Rangers. My three star for the Laval Market. Great weekend for the Rocket. One bold game against the Sarah Crunch. Friday night, 5 2. And Saturday, by the score, 1 0. My first star, Alex Barry Boulet. Two goals, two assists, four points. Joshua Juan, my second star. Two goals, one assist for three points. And finally, the goaltender, Connor Hughes. Saturday, a shootout. Stop all the 23 shots he faced against the Crunch. And I want to mention Owen Beck scored his first. Gold professional with the Laval Rocket Saturday. It was a game-winning goal also for the head coach, Pascal Vincent, with the Laval Rocket. Finally, my three star on the pipeline for the Montreal Canadiens. I have to go with the first star, Owen Pratt, the defenseman of the Brentford and OHL, finished the weekend in two games with one goal, two assists, three points. Following by my second star is Sam Harris for the Denver University, 133 Overall pick by the Montreal Canadiens, the 5 11 uh, consider have a great season with the Denver University. Score on each game so far, he has four goals. It's only weekend, he has two goals with the Denver University. Beat both teams again, the Northeastern. And finally, my third star of the Montreal Canadian pipeline is Jacob Fodder. Second shootout uh, for Fodder. Stop all the 20 shots he faced on the weekend. And uh, this is only in three games. So far, Fodder have a great start of the season with the Boston College. If not, I want to mention maybe Tyler Torp have one goal, one assist with the Vancouver Giants. So far, uh, Torp have nine points in ten games with the Giants. And that's concluded also the Ab Nation video. Now it's your turn to leave me a comment below this video about different subject. The second line, what do you think what the Montreal should do? Even the Midav, and finally, of course, my three star of the week for the Montreal, Laval Market, and the Pipeline. Thanks for watching another video. Don't forget, please, to click on the like, subscribe, and remember, you have greatness inside of you, and we wish you an amazing, great, blessed day, everybody.